This is a moonscape. This will go. Weighs a ton. That's a moonscape. Wow. Yeah, I can see that. It goes on the wall. Yeah. It's aluminum on plywood. Wow. So, all modern stuff. Uh huh. And then, this is the table. Oh, that looks great. And you can still see three circles up here. Uh huh. So, I'm going to have to do a light sand coat. I hope I don't have to shoot it again. But I was going to shoot a clear coat on it. Yeah. And maybe just do a gold pinstripe around this. And yeah. But that's the moon table. That looks real nice. Different. Yeah. And then this is a Nautilus sculpture. This takes, um, needs a clear coat also. So this will all be nice and gorgeous. And that's just hammered steel stuff. Yeah. Goofy. Cool. And this was practicing on glass. Yeah. Dirty. And this was the label I did. Yeah, for the wine That's bottles. That's the old label. Yeah. So I started in to do it. I'm gonna. I have to etch it with a very fine grinding tool. Mm -hmm. And then I'll etch the other side so it'll have a double layer on it. Mm -hmm. And then put in maybe a purple coat or something. Yeah. Kind of light. You wipe the paint on and it stays in this real light. Yeah. And everything else wipes off. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of neat. This was a bunch of glass I got, so if you need circles yeah. of glass, a quarter inch sanded, all uh -huh. cool. Cool. I had a whole stack of it. So if you need anything like that, let me if know. If you need any metal, I've got kind of an abundance of it right now. So, just saying. I cut up a bunch of washing machines and dryers and stuff, so I got plenty of metal. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been working in the shop. This. Be another one of those antique signs. Uh huh. But I started it three weeks ago. I didn't do anything. Yeah. This one is. Uh, I found this paper pattern in the back. Yeah. This is the sign that was on um, Man Without a Face. Oh. Okay. It was the sign I did on glass for the. Uh, it was the old photographic studio. Uh huh. And I put Reed and Son hardware on the glass. Uh huh. And I found the pattern, so I, I did this. Cool. And it's not fancy enough. It doesn't have enough. You know, it should have something in it. Uh huh. I think it looks pretty cool. And that was the that was a wall sculpture I did. Outside wall sculpture in copper. Yeah, I saw your uh, angel outside as I was coming in. I, I saw an angel out there yeah, that, that I hadn't seen. Practice piece in steel. Uh huh. And this was a big one in copper. Yeah. And that worked out pretty good. It's on a lady's house somewhere down there. Awesome. So, but the rest of the time, I've just been working on uh, painting. Yeah. So. All right. But um, unfortunately, the circles come out. So did you mean for the circles to be there? Uh, well, I was. I had them. They were curly maple. Uh huh. And they sh they sh stood out from this mahogany. Right. And then when I painted it white and masked those off, and left them curly maple with the white. Right. So you were planning that, but now you're trying yeah, to cover it up. So now I'm saying? covering it up. So uh, I have to. Um, I'll have to do a three twenty uh, wet dry or something. It'll take a long time. Yeah. yeah, that's the way painting is, though. But it still it looks great just the way it is. And then just a little pen strike to highlight, and that gets out yeah. here. But I haven't been out in the shop for a couple of weeks, so it's, yeah. it's not only just a mess; it's a dusty mess now. Well, there you go. Like my place. <laughs> I was just gonna. I know we were looking at the. He used this as a model for a big one he built, and he was showing me the diagram inside there. He Is it a weather vane? I mean, with the horn like that. I mean, it looks like it should be a weather vane. Yeah. yeah? Probably. Probably is. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it is. Hey. Hi there. Hi there. Like the hat. Thank you.